So let's do first some paper chemistry. What is the Fischer-Tropsch reaction? Well, the Fischer-Tropsch reaction is the reaction between hydrogen and carbon monoxide, both together are called syngas, which gives, when you use a catalyst at a given temperature and pressure, gives you a range of products, fuels, chemicals, in general it gives you what we call hydrocarbons. Why is this reaction now so interesting? Well, let's first look at the syngas. Where can it come from? It can come from different sources. For example, it can come from coal. Coal to syngas is a known process. Very interesting nowadays is when you use a renewable source to make the syngas. For example, waste biomass. If you convert it in the right way, you get a gas, exemplified here by this balloon containing hydrogen and carbon monoxide, the syngas. When we have that gas, we can flow it over a catalyst, shown for example here for an iron catalyst, and it gives you then a range of products depending on the catalyst, temperature and pressure. For example, you can make clean, clear fuels, and you can make all kinds of plastics. Okay, well here we have two burning liquids. On the left side we have a Fischer-Tropsch liquid. On the right side, this one, we have a liquid based on natural uh, crude oil. And what you see is when they burn that this one, the natural one, gives soot, it gives a black vapor, and the flame is a little bit more yellow, meaning it burns more dirty than the Fischer-Tropsch one, which has a more colorless flame and gives you less soot. To test the catalyst, we have to use a reactor. We put the catalyst inside, then we place this reactor in an oven. But what you can see here, the gases we feed from this side, from these valves, to the reactor. So here you have hydrogen and carbon monoxide coming in, so synthesis gas, and at the other side, this side of the reactor, you get the products. The products are in, a, in the gas phase, so we cannot see them, but we analyze them with gas chromatography. In the end, what you can see is the composition of the gases coming out of the reactor. From the fischer tropsch reaction, we can produce fuels, but we can also produce chemicals. In this case, we are using a process to convert synthesis gas into lower offense. Lower offense are the building blocks to produce plastics and many other chemicals. So effectively, what we do is we take waste biomass, convert it into synthesis gas, which is a mixture of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Then this gas is put in contact with an iron catalyst. This catalyst was produced here in this lab, and, and there is a paper related to this work in the science magazine. From this process, we can obtain the building blocks for the plastics, that, that is the lower olefins, which means that we can produce green plastics normal plastics from waste biomass.